it's great to talk to you about this film because first of all, I think that was such a positive atmosphere on it. Everybody was rooting for this story. Is it the right mm. impression? Mm. I, I'm I very so. ha happy about that. I mean, we wanted to create a movie that was inspiring to mm. people and that, that would be an emotional experience. So, I, I know in America, everyone's rooting for her. Mm. <laughs> and, you know, it's fun watching it with an audience because even during the match, sometimes when she wins a point, the, 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 you'll hear a cheer. And I think because we all, or a lot of us, you know, we're rooting for a woman in the election so that yeah. it brings back some of that, that hope that we felt before the election. Yeah, because you were filming it during that time, which was yes. another interesting twist. And the film is about a story that happened 35 years ago, 45 years 44, ago. 44, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was, there is still so current today. Do you think it's so uncanny that life imitates art so much? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. I think, you know, we thought that the election in the States would be different. I think there have been a lot of surprises mm -hmm. in public elections around the world. Um, and I think these issues between men and women and issues about equality and are, chauvinistic are in chauvinism are, are going to be around for a long time. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. I think, I, unfortunately, I think this, a story like this will always be somewhat timeless because it's just, you never have to stop fighting for mm. change and fighting for equality in every sense, not just gender equality, but I think the world is more, uh, you know, the, the disparity between, you know, the have and have nots is better, worse than ever right now, so it's just an ongoing battle. Absolutely. Um, Billie Jean King has earned a, a title of an icon. Everybody considers yeah. her that, although she doesn't like to be remembered as that. But what do you think makes her so different? You know, she's really fought for the true nature of what freedom is. I think what's what we've learned from making the film and then even more being around her, we've been around her even more in the release of the film. Mm. And what's so incredible about her is that she's this unifier you know, she really she doesn't like to alienate people. She likes to bring them in and, and get them engaged in a conversation. And um, she does it in a way that's not off-putting. And I think that that is the kind of, that's the way that we need, mm. that's the way to make things change, to, pro to progress, is to actually get engaged in a conversation instead of just shouting at each other and calling she each other names. She always talks about respecting your opponent. That's why... She beat Bobby Riggs, and I think that's how all of us, if you want to make change, you have to, you can't underestimate your opponent. I think that's what happened in the States. Everyone underestimated Donald Trump. Um, and, and she doesn't reduce them. Like, I mm. think she, she respects them. Exactly. She brings them to her level to talk. And I think that's really, it's so hard for us to do now because we've become so polarized. But mm. I think there's so much to be learned in that um, that way of working. Yeah, and I think this, the movie is filled with those subtleties in everyone's behavior, I think. Mm. That, 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 that must have been very important that to you guys. That was very important. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of love in Thank the movie. Thank you for saying that, <laughs> yeah. 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 Absolutely. Let's talk about Emma and her capacity to carry a film like that, which, which was so necessary. Mm. Well, I think Emma realized that this was an opportunity to tell a story and to play a character that was more challenging than anything she's done. And I think we were all very intimidated because we knew Billie Jean was going to be watching. Um, but yeah, I mean, Emma took it on in every regard. I mean, she had to transform her body, her physicality, um, you know, but she also got Billie Jean's internal life. And I, I think that so much, too, with Emma, she just brings a lot of who she is to the role. You know, there's something about her that is so open and giving. And I think the audience feels that, too. So they're sort of getting Emma and Billie Jean in a way that mm. I think is, um, she just has, people love Emma, too. Mm. You know, yeah, she's there's, very personable. Yeah, yeah, even though you can maybe, I hope, forget that you're watching Emma, but you are getting a lot of Emma, you know. Yeah, and those two seem to have quite a lot in common uh, in who they are within the public eye and the pressure is a fan. No, they, they, really... they really do, and, and that's why casting is so important because you can be a great actor, but it 
you ultimately, as you're saying, you bring who you are. And Emma is just one of those people, like Billie Jean, who is interested in people and loves the world and wants to change things. So and they're both givers. Mm. Yeah. They don't like the. They don't really like the attention. They're like if you if you try to compliment Billie Jean, she's immediately deflecting it and putting it back on you. I just interviewed them. It, it was like yeah. a ping yeah. pong. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. No. It's all about. But they're both so much like that, and I think that generosity comes through in everything they do. And finally, is it totally the kind of film that you like to watch with the audience because you feel when they're rooting? Yeah. Yes. No, exactly. I mean, you would, you look, watching a tennis match alone is the worst possible thing. And this movie, like that, you, you know, should be shared in a movie theater. You want to laugh with people and there are emotional moments. So we really hope people will see it in theaters. It's, 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 a, it's a really important way to experience not film. just our film but all films <laughs> I, hope I completely see agree I, I do it's... not endorse the small screen <laughs> yeah no, no, not I mean, for films anyway yeah I mean no. we shot this on film and the score is big and beautiful and it should be experienced in a room and there's a lot of detail when we see it on a big because we were used to cutting it on the smaller screen so we still get a thrill when we see it projected and you know there's just so much detail and um and you know the wide shots of the tennis match there's it's just really meant to be on a big screen but 